Hi everybody, welcome back to another very exciting Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I'm Jesus Ramirez, I'll be your host for the next two weeks. How are you guys doing? I'm very excited to be here once again with you guys. And let me just take a quick look at a uh, quick look at the chat to see who's joining me today. I see that we have a lot of familiar faces already. Um, wow, thank you guys so much. We have Sam, Rafael, Felipa, CL, Chad, Paula, Sally, Nicole, Anthony, Susan, Austin, Andreas, Clever, Lindsay, Laura, Vev, Steve. I don't know if I can read that fast. All the names just keep coming up. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm sorry if I didn't read your name. Wow, it's just a lot of people commenting right now. Thank you so much, Matt, Sean, Claudie, Victor, Claire. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning uh, or evening, depending on where you are. I can see some people that are watching from Spain, Susana. Um, let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here. So let me know in the chat where you are watching from. So. Um, again, thank you guys so much for joining me for this set of daily creative challenges, Photoshop daily creative challenges. We're going to work on nine projects that are going to help you build your photography and design skills. It's going to be a fun filled two weeks and I look forward to having you guys here with me during these daily creative challenges. I see that we have people joining from NYC. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. Uh, we got Mateo from Mexico. Uh, Tanya from India, Anna from Portugal, um, Sean from England, uh, I'm sorry, um, Germany, Connecticut, Laura. We have Martin from Austria, Kathleen from Virginia, uh, Svein from Connecticut, um, Dorina watching from Bulgaria, Claire from the UK, Maria from NY, New York. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It's amazing to have uh, this diverse group of creatives. Thank you guys so much again. It's, it's just crazy just to see all the names pop up on screen. And thank you guys so much for being here. Um, let me switch over into my screen and direct you over to one of the most important pages, which is the daily creative challenge on this page right here. This is the behance.net slash challenge slash Photoshop page and I highly recommend that you check it out. With this page, you'll be able to take the nine challenges with me. What you need to do is click on that big blue button right in the center, the one that says hi Jesus, take the challenge. If you click on it, you will receive notifications via the Creative Cloud for these daily creative challenges. And all you have to do is come in here every day starting tomorrow. Today is a welcome screen, uh, welcome screen, welcome day. <laughs> Today is a welcome day. The first challenge will, will unlock tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific. And this box here will have the very first challenge, which by the way, it will be, let me show you what the final result is. Um, it will be this project called Gilded Objects. So let me open that up in Photoshop so that you can see it. So we're gonna create these golden statues out of a photo. So I'm gonna show you how to apply filters, adjustment layers, and all sorts of cool stuff to create a metal object out of a photo. So this is just a photo of a person running. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and that will be tomorrow. And that will unlock here under May 12th and every day, 9 a.m. Pacific, we will unlock all these boxes and we'll be here until May 22nd when we will have our ninth and final daily creative challenge. So what you need to do now is click on that big blue button, then click on the community chat link to make sure that you go into our Discord page so that you can interact with me, the community, and all of the other Adobe mentors, including Claudia from Print My Soul, Sam, Tim, Valdir, and of course, Voodoo Val. And what you need to know, uh, what you need to do on Discord is come here on the left hand uh, hand side under feedback, under the feedback tab, and make sure that you click on current challenge. And from here, you'll be able to share your work with me and me and everybody else could help you with any questions, comments, concerns about the particular daily challenge and you just submit your work. And then there'll be an opportunity for a um, design review later on in the streams. Uh, usually what happens is one of the streamers later on in the, day, in the day will give you their thoughts on your work. So make sure that you check it out. So 
this is the page that I highly, highly recommend that you check out. Also, something that I want to show you before we do anything else is if you go back on, not that, on this page, Daily Creative Challenge page, make sure that you go all the way down, all the way down, right here where it says download Photoshop. I'm going to be working with the latest release of Photoshop, Photoshop 2020. So if you have an older version, there might be some tools or some differences with the application. You can still follow along. I made all the challenges so that they're accessible to everyone. In some cases though, I do have to take advantage of the new features. So if you don't have the latest release of Photoshop, click on the download Photoshop button that opens up in a new tab and you should be able to download a free trial so that you can follow along for at least one week. But this is where you can get it. Also, um, you can get Photoshop for like nine uh, $9 a month if you're interested on just getting it for like one month and following along with me and whoever the next streamer is for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenges. So I highly recommend that you follow along with the latest version of Photoshop if you don't have it. Let me take a look at the chat and see if there's any questions. Um, cool. Awesome. Just a bunch of people saying hi. So hello everybody for, for joining me today. Um, it says, looks like someone's been playing Fortnite. Is that a Fortnite? I've never played it. So I don't know if that golden runner is somehow related to Fortnite. Let me know in the chat. I don't know. I've never played it. I'm not actually a gamer. I used to be, I used to play a lot of video games as a kid, but then I haven't really played any, any video games as of late. However, I will challenge anyone on FIFA. I'm still pretty good at FIFA, even though I only play it like once a year now, but I'm still pretty good at it. Um, so yeah, maybe I can play somebody online. It'd be awesome. Let me know um, what video games you guys are into. I guess Fortnite is one of them. What else are you guys currently playing during the lockdown? Maybe I can start getting into video games again, but I don't want to because I know that I get obsessed with things. So if I get obsessed with a game, it won't be good. Uh, I'd rather be obsessed with Photoshop and create stuff. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so another very important thing is the um, Behance uh, page make sure that you go into your Behance profile if you don't have one make sure that you create one and I think they're viewing the chat commenting you should have a Behance profile at least an Adobe ID where you would be able to create your profile and you can post your work that you make with me on here I'll show you how to do that in a moment I also want to mention that if you're watching this on YouTube I won't be able to see your comments and it's it'll be a good idea for you to jump into Behance.net slash uh, live so that you can watch this live stream and so that I could see your comments because if you're typing your comments on YouTube I will not be able to see them so <clears throat> anyway so just jump over into behance.net slash live and what is really important that you do is that we have uh, your profile set up so that you can create a project and post the work that you create with me so let me show you how to do that so if you're on Behance and you have created something with me, the first thing that you wanna do is click on this big blue button, create a project, and this is gonna take you to a page where you can edit the project. This is the project editor, and you can click on upload profile, uh, upload files, excuse me, and then upload the project that you have made with me. In this case, I'm gonna use this golden runner so that you can, uh, so that I can display it to the world. And what you wanna do is, after you upload it, just click on continue, this green button here, and make sure that you give it a title. Use whatever title that you like. You can call it DCC Daily Creative Challenge, or that's already, that's what DCC stands for. I'll actually call it Photoshop DCC. How about that? Photoshop, Photoshop DCC. And I can give it a date, but uh, I'll, uh, actually, yeah, I will give it a date because I have other projects with DCC, so maybe I should give it a date. So today is May 11th, I believe. So I'll just type in, May 11th and you can give it a, a description and all that good stuff but for now I'm just gonna crop and continue and one of the most important things that you need to do is under discoverability on this tab here on the top right you need to make sure that you add the daily creative challenge hashtag that we're using so there's three there's the XD daily challenge there's the AI daily challenge and the PS daily challenge so the PS daily challenge is the one that we're gonna use that's the Photoshop daily challenge hashtag <clears throat> excuse me daily creative challenge hashtag so I, mean, I gotta make sure that I tap that in here so I'll type in hashtag PS daily 
challenge, if I can spell it correctly, let me know in the chat if I misspell something. I always misspell things and then I can click on save. So that's the most important thing. Um, I'll press continue. I'm not going to save it right now because I want to work on my project a little more. I just wanted to show you the steps for um, creating a project on Behance. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the point is, is that once you have created a project and published that project, you can go under Behance and you can actually search for that tag. So let me type, let me search for that tag. So PS daily challenge, if I can spell it correctly, PS daily challenge. Let me know if I misspell something. <laughs> but the point is, is that um, when you, when you um, search for that, you will be able to, let me just say no thanks Grammarly. I use Grammarly to like check my spelling. As you guys know, I just said it, I can't spell. So Grammarly helps me out. Um, but these are the, some of the um, challenges that people have been working on. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, it's not because it didn't go through. Let me try it again. PS daily challenge. There we go. And these are some of the daily Photoshop daily creative challenges that people have been working throughout the weeks and months and years probably that we've been doing these. Here's one from Claudia from Print My Soul. She's in the chat. I saw her a moment ago. So that's one of the Photoshop daily creative challenges that she hosted um, probably about a month ago, maybe a little longer. But the point is, is that you can see all of the work that people are creating and a tab that I shouldn't have open, but I don't have open. Let me find it here really quickly. I have a tab with a new um, gallery. We have a new gallery for the daily creative challenges. So let me just open that tab up. I'm so sorry. I should have had it open, but here it is. So this tab, let me switch over to my screen. So this is the creative challenges curated gallery. So when you work with the projects that I'm going to be working or showing you, you have an opportunity to create a project on Behance. Use the hashtag PS daily challenge. That's very important. And then these are all hand curated. These are projects that you guys have been working on in the daily creative challenges, not just the Photoshop one. You can see some um, Illustrator and XD daily creative challenges on here. So this is a way of getting your work featured on our gallery. So it's very, very important that you create a project and that you use the hashtag PS daily challenge. And we're looking for um, the completeness of the project and just an overall look. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect project. You know, like you may just be starting out and that's okay. We, we just want you to, you know, we just want to showcase the work that demonstrates effort and creativity, basically. So make sure that you do that. Once again, the, oh, and by the way, if you want to check this gallery out, it's found under behance.net slash galleries slash challenges. So you can come and check them out. And we have the categories here, XD, Photoshop, and Illustrator. So maybe you just want to check out the Photoshop galleries. You can click on the Photoshop tab and you can see the daily creative challenges that people have been working on. So really, really cool stuff. I highly recommend that you upload the challenges that you and I do together onto Behance so they can have an opportunity to be featured on this awesome, awesome uh, curated gallery. So make sure that you do that. And what I want to do now is do just a couple things in Photoshop um, just so we can all work using the same workspace tomorrow and going forward. So I see Kata Jones wrote, hey, Seuss. Hey, Kata, how's it going? Um, but anyway, so we're going to go into Photoshop. And something very important to do is to make sure that you have your workspace saved the way that I have it saved. And if you're new, obviously, if you have been working with Photoshop and you know where things are, that's totally cool. You can have your own workspace. But if you're just starting out, if you're new to Photoshop and you want to look at what I'm looking at, then I recommend that you do this. So basically, what you can do is click on this button here, this little down pointing arrow, and that shows you the list of workspaces. The workspace is just simply a way of arranging panels, right? So there's different workspaces that Photoshop gives you for different things. So for photography, for painting, and as you notice, as I swap and toggle through the panels, or excuse me, through the workspaces, the panels rearrange, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work in the essentials panel and I'm also going to reset 
the essentials panel so that, so that I'm just working with the default. And that's what I'm gonna work on for the entire stream. One thing I should note, if you're working on a desktop, like I'm on a laptop right now, obviously, right? But if you're working on a desktop and it has a large screen, then you might see two columns. So what you might see is you might see like a column here on the side. So I'll put it here on the side so to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you might see, you might see that. And if you see that, I recommend that you work with one panel so that you have more real estate to work with. So if that's the case, what you can do is click on the panel that's off to the side and then just drag it over into one of the other panels. When it highlights in blue, you can just release. And what you would do at that point is save the workspace so that you don't have to do that again. So you can go into this down pointing arrow and create a new workspace and you can just call it whatever you like. You can call it DCC if you like, and then just click on save. So now if you move your panels around by accident and you want to get back to what we started with, you can always go back into that workspace. So I can click on this down pointing arrow and click on reset DCC. And also for those of you that watch my tutorials on YouTube and some of the videos, you might have seen that I like having the banana tool active. So I'm going to enable the banana tool on this toolbar and we're going to work with the banana tool for the entire week. So everybody should have a banana in their toolbar if you're following along with me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I think that the Photoshop engineers get hungry because they have a lot of Easter eggs inside the app and they always have to do with food for some reason. So I don't know if the engineers are getting fed down in San Jose, um, but who knows? The point is, is that we can add a banana tool to our toolbar. And the way that you can add a banana to the toolbar is by clicking on the three dots, this three dot icon here at the bottom, go into edit toolbar. And if you just hold the shift key and click on done, Photoshop will add this cool little banana on your toolbar. So make sure that you add it into your toolbar so that you can follow along with me and have a banana just right there. Also, if you're in school, I guess you're not in, you're probably not in school right now, but whenever you go back to school or whenever you go back to the office, um, you can play this little game with a friend and just a little prank and just add a banana to their toolbar. So when they go to the bathroom or take a break, you can add a banana on their toolbar and freak them out when they get back. <laughs> but Chad wrote, food is safe and less likely to be offensive. Very good point, Chad. Very good point. Um, so if you want to remove it and you don't like the banana for whatever reason, what you can do is go back into the three dot icon and instead of holding the shift key, you need to hold the alt key on windows and that's the option key on the Mac and click on done and the banana goes away. But like I said, in this challenge, I'm going to work with my little banana. So I'm going to hold the shift key and click on done and my banana will be on here. In case you're wondering about the other Easter eggs, I might as well show them to you now. And what you can do to see the other Easter eggs that the Photoshop engineers have hidden inside the application, you can press Control K on Windows, Command K on the Mac, and that brings up the preferences inside of Photoshop. So this is where all the preferences are. Control K on Windows, Command K on the Mac. And what you can do is go into the interface tab, and then you can hold the keyboard shortcut Shift and Alt, and now you get little toast when you click on the color themes. And the color themes are just a way of changing the um, appearance of the layout, the darkness. You can have a light, you know, darker, even darker, or completely dark layout, totally up to you. I like this one, the second, the default one, but you can select the one that you like. But the point is, is that the engineers hid toast in those little icons by holding the shift and alt key and clicking, see that? And also, if you hold control, and shift and click, you get coffee. So coffee and toast, coffee and toast. <laughs> so as you can see, the engineers are very hungry. They like coffee, they like toast, and they like bananas. If you guys know a Photoshop Easter egg that I don't know, let me know where it is. I'd love to check it out. Um, <laughs> what's that? Meeting in HR, don't bring any bananas. <laughs> you know what? Let me see if you guys have any questions. I've been uh, talking for a while now and maybe there's some questions. Yeah, there's toast too. Food is, yep, food is safe. Coffee, yep. Yeah, I did. Susanna wrote, I remember you showed that in a Creative Live challenge. That is right. I, I, I have shown it at Creative Live before. Cool. 
Awesome. So what I'll do now is, let me see how much time we have. We have about five minutes. So we talked about the, let me just make sure I covered everything that I need to cover. We talked about the Photoshop uh, daily creative challenge page. You've got to make sure that you click on this big blue button. Hi, Jesus, take the challenge. We talked about joining the community chat. So make sure that you join the community chat on Discord so that you can follow along, clicking on current challenge and submitting your work. We also have the past challenge tab, the portfolio review tab, and the ask a question tab. So in case you have any questions, you can come in here and ask your questions. And also, we have about three more minutes. I'm just trying to see if I, I, want, I can show you any other cool Photoshop tips and tricks. And I think we're gonna leave all the Photoshop tips and tricks for tomorrow when we're gonna create this effect. If you want to see what the original image looks like and you'll have it available tomorrow, let me open that up. So that's the image. This is the image that we're gonna start with. Normal photo. Um, you will need a white background. So if you want to have a photo of your own to follow along with me tomorrow, just make sure you take a photo of yourself or it could be an object to be quite frank with you. Um, humans usually are a little more difficult to um, use as a reference photo to create a um, metallic object, but I wanted it to be somewhat challenging, um, but doable. So we're gonna, so I decided to go with a human, but if you use like maybe like a shoe or like, you know, like a, a mouse or headphones, <laughs> anything like that, it'll probably be a lot easier, but I decided to go just, just a step further so I could show you different ways of achieving that result. So that's what we're gonna end up with tomorrow. See that before and after. And before we get going, let me show you guys the schedule for the day. We started the day with my good friend, Paul Tranny in getting started in animation. He was doing some cool work with Character Animator. If you haven't seen it, make sure that you go back, back and watch a recording. It's really, really cool. And then you guys have me for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenges, 9 a.m. Pacific for the next two weeks. And then we have Illustration with Anna. And then right after that, we have a, an Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge with Andrew. And at noon, Pacific time, we have the Adobe XD sharing collaboration with Matt. And at 2 p.m. we have the Adobe XD daily creative challenge with my pal, Howard Pinsky. And at 2.30 we have Doodle Therapy with Alice Lee. So it's a fun filled day. Make sure that you stick around for all the streamers. It's all, they're all amazing. And it's a good opportunity to uh, learn all the different apps. I have been really interested in Adobe XD, I'm not very good at it, and I've been watching Howard, and he's really good at teaching it, and he obviously knows a lot, so that's um, something that I've been enjoying personally since it's an app that I'm trying to learn. So if you want to learn Photoshop, XD, or Illustrator, make sure that you come in and check out all the daily creative challenges and submit them to the gallery. If you're just joining us and you don't know what the gallery is, make sure that you go into, oops, let me see my, I have two mice here and then I accidentally grabbed, them, uh, grabbed the wrong one. Make sure that you go into the gallery here, which is, oh wait, did I lose it? No, here it is. It's behance.net slash galleries slash challenges slash Photoshop. You don't have to put the Photoshop part. You can just go into um, uh, galleries and see the galleries with the work that we've been creating and make sure that you submit your work using the PSD, I'm sorry, the PS daily challenge hashtag. So it looks like we're about out of time. Thank you guys so much for joining me one more time. It's always a pleasure to be here. And I'm so excited to getting started with you guys tomorrow. So I'll be back again tomorrow morning, 9, 9 a.m. Pacific, where we're gonna work on the project that I just showed you. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm sure that you're going to learn a ton. All right, guys, thank you much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again very, very soon. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye.
damn it, I didn't see it at all. 